Network Miner is another highly useful open source tool for digital forensics. Network Miner is a network forensics analysis tool that is used to capture packets and other valuable network data for an investigation. Network Miner functions as a passive network sniffer or packet capturing tool in order to detect operating systems, sessions, host names, open ports, and more. Other features include advanced operating system fingerprinting, web browser tracing, and DNS whitelisting. Network Miner makes it easy to perform advanced network traffic analysis NTA, by providing extracted artifacts in an intuitive user interface. The way data is presented not only makes the analysis simpler, it also saves valuable time for the analyst or forensic investigator. Network Miner traditionally works with Windows, but it is also available for Linux, Mac OS, and other environments. Network Miner is a feature-rich software that enables the user to access highly useful forensics data from computer networks. This can include information such as usernames and passwords, also called credentials, that are being transmitted over a network. Other data that can be extracted with Network Miner includes image files, documents sent over unsecured protocols, email credentials, and advanced OS fingerprinting. There is a free and paid version of the software available for download. We will be conducting an overview of the free software, which contains about 70% of the paid features, still making it a highly relevant tool for network forensics. Downloading Network Miner First, go to this website, then click on the Network Miner button located just below the front page banner. A second option is to click Products on the toolbar, then select Network Miner from the list of products. Once you're on the download page, scroll down until you see a button under the Free column that says Download Network Miner. Using Network Miner. Run the program file as the administrator, and you'll be taken to the main application page that looks like this. From here, you will then click the tab at the top left of the screen that says Select a Network Adapter in the list. A drop-down menu will appear, and you can then select the network interface that you want to capture. Network Mapper is also capable of conducting passive sniffing, but you must have WinPCAP installed before you can do this. Next, click the Start button at the top right of the screen. You will notice that data begins to populate the main section under the toolbar. This is a general view of the network data being captured by the program. The standard view will list a series of hosts that you can click to discover additional information such as MAC address, operating system, open ports, as well as packets being sent and received. If you click on each tab on the toolbar above the hosts, you will be provided with various different sets of data relating to your captured traffic. Next to the Hosts tab, you will find the Frames tab. When you click on this, you will be given a large number of frames that include trace files. Each of these can be decapsulated to view specific information about the network traffic, such as source and destination MAC address. Next, we have the Files tab, which will show you the total number of files that have been discovered during the capture. This will include a multitude of file types such as index files, PHP, HTML, image files, and more. Next, the Images tab will show you a gallery of images that are being captured via network traffic. Any images that are attached to files will also be transmitted through the network, which can be captured by this tool and many others. The Credentials tab will show the username and password information that is being transmitted over the network. This information can be highly valuable for a forensics investigator who is attempting to recover access to an information system or for a law enforcement professional who is attempting to gain further access to a device for digital analysis. Be mindful that you must have authorization to capture and use this type of information and improper use could be illegal in some instances. The Sessions tab will show you the total number of sessions captured and other amplifying information about each one. Using the interface, you can easily determine the source and destination IP address, port number, which protocol is being used, and other information such as the frame number and the time that the session took place. 
As you can already see, using Network Miner is extremely easy to use and provides a wealth of valuable data without needing a command line interface. The DNS tab allows you to virtually see the total number of DNS requests that are being made. You are even able to see the DNS query that was made over the network, which will clearly show you the website that the device was attempting to connect to. You can then see what type of communication this was and how long it lasted. This can provide undeniable proof whether or not a particular information system visited a certain website, which can be extremely helpful. For example, it could determine whether or not a site with malware was visited and what took place during that visit. This is valuable to a business for the purpose of lessons learned during an incident response process. Under the Parameters tab, you are able to see a list of the total number of parameters that have been captured on the network. This lists what type of requests are being made by certain devices. It also shows the type of devices that are being used under the Parameter Value column. You can see browser information and the type of operating system version on a device. This type of information is extremely valuable from a penetration testing standpoint because it allows you to then look for vulnerabilities on these various tools and software versions. Next is the Keywords tab, which allows the user to search the entire dataset for specific keywords that may be of interest. Once you click the tab on the toolbar, you can add various keywords on the left-hand side of the screen and then click Add. Once you've added the keywords you want to target, click the button in the bottom right side of the screen called Reload Case Files. Depending on the size of the data, this will take a moment to load and then it will populate the screen with the results.